What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to turn a broad daylight scene into a night scene in Final Cut Pro X. So this clip right here is what I'm going to be using for the effect. And as you can see it's pretty bright, but I did manage to pull off the effect pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and show you the final results now, so take a look. So what you just saw was not perfect, it looks good for what it is, but it is Final Cut that we're working with, so the options are limited. But anyway, I think it looks pretty good, so let's just get into it. First off, I'm going to delete the effects that I added before. So the first thing you want to add is the day into night effect, and that is actually a built-in effect that Final Cut Pro X has. So just go ahead and search for it in the effects menu, and drag it onto your clip. Now that looks pretty terrible, so we're going to fix that up real quick. So there's not a lot we can do in the actual day and the night effect, so I'm going to add a color correction by hitting command 6, brings up the color board, and the first thing we're going to deal with is the exposure. Now I'm going to decrease the highlights a lot, and just decrease the shadows a bit, and I'm going to increase the midtones. Then I'm going to get rid of that blue tint that came with the day and the night effect, because I don't like that. You can keep it if you want to, but I'm just going to decrease the blues a bit to get rid of it so that's fine then I'm gonna go back to saturation and decrease that a bit so we don't have that vibrant colors and you can adjust it how you want to so just play around with all of these settings until you find the exact settings that you like and remember you don't want the scene to be too dark but you don't want it to, to be too bright as well so keep that in mind. Now I think mine looks pretty good now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the grain effect to give it a bit of realism Oops. grain film grain now add that to your clip and I'm gonna change the style to realistic grain now I add this effect because there's not many cameras that shoot perfectly in low light situations so there is mostly most likely gonna be some grain so that's what I'm adding right here, and I'm just uh, turning down the grain just a bit. I like 50. 50 looks good. Now that should be it for the visual effects. Now I'm just going to add a soundtrack because I would like this to be kind of a spooky scene. So yeah, thumbs up for Morgan. And I'm going to add a soundtrack right here, kind of a spooky soundtrack. I'm going to start it at the peak right here. And ended right here so this is kind of a like spooky ambient soundtrack so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching I really hope you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and like this video if you did and if you have any requests for future videos be sure to comment them below and I promise that I'll make a video about it as long as it's not anything too crazy so yeah, if you have any requests, leave them below. I'm out. Peace.